Hey, what's going on guys? Timzy here, and today I'm going to be continuing our How to Defend series, moving on to the map coastline. We're going to be going over hookah and billiards in this video, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you guys are enjoying the series on the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos. And if this is the first video you guys are watching in the series, make sure to check out the description below for the playlist to all of the other maps and sites that I've done so far. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So, you know, I don't want to waste your time. Let's get right into the optics and reinforcements. So typically for a coastline hookah billiards defense, the three ops that you're going to want to bring pretty much all the time is going to be a smoke, a Jaeger, and some sort of info. So in this case, either a maestro or a dock bulletproof. And then as for the last two operators, you can either bring a Valk, which I recommend bringing a Valk if she is available and not banned. And then last but not least, I recommend bringing a Malusi. Moving on to reinforcements, you're going to get the four pink bar walls, the two VIP walls, the middle hookah wall facing billiards, the hookah wall facing 90, and then both of the hookah walls on the left and right side of the hookah door. Now let's move on to the positioning and utility. Alright, we're going to be starting out on smoke here, and I just want to point out that I'm not going to have specific reinforcements for each character just because all 10 reinforcements are extremely close to the site, so... As long as you get two, it'll be perfectly fine. But anyways, starting out with some rotation holes. So typically, the two main rotation holes that you're going to want to make every single time you play this objective is going to be this hookah to billiards rotate hole. And then you're also going to make a rotate hole to cool vibes. Besides these two rotate holes, there's nothing else that's like mandatory, but there are a couple holes in lines of sight that I like to make personally. So we're going to go over to the drone hole near pink. You're going to prone and shock in the floor. And this is an angle that you can use to see inside of office, and this can kind of help your roamers out. If people push into the office door and go to the left, you'll see them right here. The one issue with this angle is it's pretty well known, so definitely be careful peeking that angle. The next thing I like to do is make holes underneath the default plant spot so that somebody on my team can potentially go underneath and shoot the person trying to plant the default spot. I like to open up that office hatch just to kind of add pressure for the people that push underneath. And then besides that, I sometimes either like to make a full-on rotate hole here on this side of the hookah wall. But um, if not a full rotate, typically I'd make like a line of sight so that I could sit in pink bar, but I can also help take gunfights on the hookah door if they do run into the site. You could take the gunfight here. As for your shield, there are two spots that I like to place it. One of them is going to be right here inside of pink bar. And this is just so I could sit behind pink bar, crouch with this shield, basically covering the VIP push. Uh, a lot of people like to open up this VIP wall when it's reinforced. So I have the shield to kind of cover that line of sight. Or if they do push down the 90 hall, I will still have the shield to kind of cover that line of sight. The other spot that you can put the shield is going to be on the hookah door. Typically, I like to place it a little bit away from the door, not typically attached to it so that I could potentially put an ADS on, you know, on this right hand side on the reinforcement so that I can cover this shield. And this will be for the person playing faces. They can kind of use the shield to contest the hookah door. So either one of those two spots. And then typically when it comes to smoke, I play either behind pink bar if I can. If I'm getting pressured out really heavily, um, a lot of the time I'll just try to back up to vase because at vase, I'm sure a lot of you know, but you could still clip smoke through the wall. So typically if you clear smoke in this corner here, it'll clip to the other side, which is the default plant. So if they're planting here, they'll get smoked out. And if you are at vase, you can still throw it into that corner from back here, and it'll still clip to the default plant. All right, moving on to Jaeger. We're just going to go ahead and set up our ADSs and our barbed bar. wire. So the first one, I like to put one behind pink bar just for the smoke player playing back here, just in case any nades start flying over. And then we're going to place one of our barb right on this aqua double door. Our second piece of barb is going to go in 90 hole. It's going to be right next to the VIP door in this plant pot. So that anybody pushing down 90 or coming out the VIP door will be forced to hit that barb. Our next ADS is going to go on the hookah door that leads outside to the hookah balcony. And then our last one is going to go on cool vibes. And we're just going to put it on the platform here. So if any nades come flying down from this vent or any nades come flying from bottom cool vibes up this ADS should catch it. Sometimes I like to put, put it up here actually to this part of vase so it's completely up to you but either here or here. And then when it comes to positioning typically on a map like coastline you're gonna want to roam. Oh, this is a very like aggressive fragger map so you're probably gonna want to roam. Um, typically you would roam either in sunrise 
blue bar office or kitchen this map you could pretty much roam kind of everywhere it's, it all depends on what the two roamers want to do they just need to communicate but typically you either want to hold completely vertical which is going to be your sunrise your like bottom cool vibes kitchen hall blue bar office um or sometimes you just want to play a little bit more passive play kitchen and then allow the attackers to take sunrise you know office blue bar but still have this kitchen pressure and lobby pressure as well all right moving on to maestro we're going to go ahead and place our evil eyes so i reinforced this wall just to indicate that you want to make sure this wall is reinforced before you put down your evil eye but this is going to be one of the spots that you can place your evil eye just to get info down 90 this is perfect for people playing base or the smoke playing behind peak bar just to give them info if anybody's pushing up their 90 hall and then as for the second evil eye we're going to go ahead and place it inside of billiards it can go in one of two spots one i like to put is here on the floor because you could actually get on it you could still see inside of aqua a little bit but especially if they push into the default plant spot you can still zap it and the good thing about it being down low is it's a little bit undetected for a lot of the attackers they may not see it um, before it's too late so you may be able to get a, a pick on the person planning or at least do some damage and it's a little bit harder to actually destroy this one because they have to shoot their gadgets underneath the pool table which is a little bit hard of a lineup but if you don't want to put it on the floor there you can place it up here on this hard surface and it'll do the same thing you'll be able to see into aqua a bit better you can also see the person going for the default plant and you're still able to zap them like that as for your barbed wire we're going to go ahead and put a piece of barbed wire on bottom cool vibes and then we're going to put the last piece on our hookah door that leads to the balcony. And then when it comes to your positioning, you're pretty much going to play inside of hookah. You can kind of go from hookah to vase, but typically you're going to be playing behind this reinforced wall. You know, you're going to have your two rotate holes, or at least your one rotate hole and some lines of sight. A lot of the time, people want to make some bullet holes, so you can do that as well, just to kind of get some pressure on the people pushing aqua when they're going for a plant soon. So you can kind of play a little bit aggressive on these bullet holes, but that's going to be your main positioning. Moving on to Valkyrie, so I'm not going to show you guys specific cam spots, but I will tell you guys some rooms that I recommend maybe putting a cam in, um, just to kind of help out around the objective. But the first one's going to be inside of VIP. Um, I threw it up here in this case, but typically you're going to probably want to have a cam in VIP just in case the team does push VIP and penthouse and theater, because you could potentially get a nitro pick on somebody sitting in VIP. Our next spot is going to go into Aqua, and it can be anywhere inside of Aqua as long as you have info for behind the bar, you know, near couches. So again, you could potentially get a nitro kill on somebody sitting inside of Aqua. And then as for the last spot, typically I would recommend putting it outside. It really depends uh, like what you want to see, but typically just putting it outside on Hookah Balk, just like so. Um, I'm sure you guys can come up with better spots, but you guys can definitely put a cam out here. Just to get info on the Hookah Balk. You can see the big window repel. And you can kind of just get in line of sight for the outside of the objective just to kind of help out the people playing in sight. And potentially you could play a little bit aggressive on some of that info and maybe do some runouts. But you're going to be playing with the uh, Jaeger in this case. You're just going to roam around. It depends, like I, show, I said in the clip with Jaeger, that you're probably going to want to play inside of Sunrise, Blue Bar Office, or Kitchen slash Lobby. Um, it really depends what map control you want to give up and what map control you want to hold. But... As long as you two are communicating, you should be perfectly fine. And last but not least, we have Malusi. So this is going to be another site operator. So let's go over the Banshee placement. Typically, I like to place one on the pool table. And the reasoning behind this is you can see it pretty much covers the entire part of billiards that most attacking teams push from. Our second Banshee is going to go inside of 90. And it's going to be close to the vase side just because you want to make sure that anybody pushing out of VIP or pushing through 90 will get hit by this Banshee just to kind of have that audio cue. And then our last Banshee is going to go on bottom cool vibes. We're just going to put it on the side of the wall here. So if anybody is pushing bottom cool vibes, we'll have that audio cue as well. And typically when it comes to playing Malus, you're probably going to be the person playing vase just because you can help contest Hookah. You can help contest people swinging in pool table, as well as you can help contest people pushing 90 and VIP. Um, and it's just going to be your job to kind of hold vase, but not only that, if the Jaeger and the Valk need help underneath for whatever reason, typically you could probably play cool vibes and hold some angles, like you can hold kitchen door from here, if your teammates are sitting inside a blue bar and sunrise and they're getting pushed from kitchen, or if people are pushing sunrise to try to clear out the Jaeger and Valk playing in kitchen and lobby, you can kind of hold these angles to kind of help out on the roam as well but you want to just stay alive don't play too aggressive of an angle because you are going to be one of the three on the objective
Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for me. If you guys made it this far into the video, don't forget that I do stream live on Twitch about four to five days a week. So if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel, I'm sure you guys will also enjoy the content on the stream as well. But also, if you guys have questions, it's probably best to ask me on stream because I can actually get into more detail and probably answer a lot more questions than I can in some of these videos. But anyways, if you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button for future content. We have videos coming out weekly on the channel, so I hope you guys have been enjoying that. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.